Hey, what's up, guys? It's Pat, and, you know, guys, today I was planning on making an awesome, like, gate that opens with pistons and stuff, and I, I tried to do it in creative mode, and still can't get it to work exactly how I want it to, you know, that with, like, redstone circuits and stuff, um, you know, I tried, but it, it just ended up looking really sloppy. I was actually, after a couple hours, I figured out how to get the blocks to push up, like, two to make, like, a gate, but, um, it just looked really crappy, so hopefully in a couple episodes I'll figure out how to do that, like, better, and then I'll implement it into, um, into the house here. But for now, I'm going to wait on that, because honestly, it'll take me hours to set it up. So, you know, it's not worth doing in an episode yet. So, give me a little time on that. I was working on that in creative mode for a while, and I sort of got the hang of it a little bit, but I'm, I mean, I got it to work, but I didn't really understand what I did. So, going to wait on that. But what I really want to do today... Since we're back here, I mean, I want to start a farm for this sugar cane because, you know, we need to get those bookshelves set up so um, for the enchanting. And also what we need to do is get the pumpkin set up since we, um, you know, we got pumpkin seeds when we were um, in the mine. So we're going to set up some different farms, and I think I'm going to do it inside, like a greenhouse style or something like that. And we'll see how that turns out. But, yeah, that should be something easy that we can do that's really important anyway because we need to get that enchanted room set up, and I want to get these, you know, this farm's going. And another thing I want to do is, someone mentioned this, so I thought it was a good idea to throw some, put some doors in these, you know, pillars and have a ladder go up to the top so it's like a guard tower. So that will be pretty cool. And I did finish one more of those. Um, I still need to do one more of them because, you know, it does take a little bit of time. So I will get, I will get those finished pretty soon. But yeah, I want to get these, um, I want to get these farms started. Let's just go to sleep, just avoid the monsters because, you know, we have a lot of work to do on this episode. So we'll see what we can get going. But yeah, maybe I should just, um, I think I actually got some of the iron, um, bars going. Yeah, I did. So I got tons of those, so we do need to make some iron doors. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up just one for the episode, you know, just so you guys, um, see exactly what I'm gonna do to everything. So yeah, we're gonna set up a door there, and, um, alright, what else do we need? Alright, so we need some sticks as well, so let's turn all this into wood. All right, so we're gonna need lots of sticks to build the uh, build the what's it called ladder, ladder. Jesus. Okay. All right, so we got 15 ladder. I don't know how much we're gonna need exactly. 18. I don't know. I'm thinking we're gonna need a little bit more wood. Let's see if I have any laying around. Hmm. Oh okay, yeah, yeah. I got some of this kind. So whatever, we'll use this. Doesn't matter. Alright, so, turn this into sticks too. And hopefully this should be enough now for us to build what we need to build. And I think it'll look pretty good, the way we'll have it set up. So, alright, we have 42. Got a little bit more. And this should be enough to um, at least get one of these up and going. Alright, so we have 45 of those. Let's see, what else do we need? We need like a... I'm thinking, uh, I don't know if I want to use a button, a pressure plate, or what. I have really no idea what I want to do. But for now, let's just set up the ladder. I'm thinking a button, maybe, for these. Alright, so how we're going to have to... Do I have torches? Because, yeah, I want to put some in there. Alright, so what we're going to do, guys, we're going to just break this through here. And, you know, there's an opening, so it's a perfect spot, I would think, for um, for a ladder. I haven't used any ladders yet, so I can't imagine it's very difficult to do. So, yeah, it's pretty easy to set up. That's actually pretty cool. Cool way to get up here. Um, let's try to go down it without falling down. Not sure how that'll work. Alright, so... I'm just a little nervous. Alright, but yeah, that does seem to work pretty well. Alright, so what we do need to do is we need to get some doors set up. I'm thinking a little button or something on the side would be good. But we gotta do the same over here as well. And, um... What the hell did I mess this up? Okay, so clearly I messed this up a bit. So there's like dirt right here. Alright, well, not too bad. Um, I mean, you can't even see in here, which just really makes me know that I gotta add these in. So, well, I got four of them, so we'll do that. Yeah, I guess I was just doing this real quick and I didn't really, you know, make it look perfect. But okay, there we go. And honestly, I think I, I, think I like this. This looks pretty good.
All right, so that works really well, and that's like another quick way to get up to the third floor if I want to just get up there. That would be helpful for me at least, too. And I noticed, you know, this is actually a good way down. I don't take any damage. All right, so we do have, so not really supposed to be that way, but, you know, it works. All right, so what we need is a button. I don't remember how to make a button, to be honest. I feel like it's just like that. It's not. I think it's maybe out of stone. See if I actually have any um, in any of these. So yeah, we got a bunch of stone. I'm thinking. All right, where is it? I think it's like this. No, that's a pressure plate. Which one's a button? I don't even know which one. Up. Oh. Okay, that's a button. All right, so let's make um, make two of these, and I'll finish the last one up off camera. So we need do need another iron door as well. All right, okay. All right, guys, so we do have lots of iron, and I think I'm going to make, you know, a set of armor with this stuff, too. I'm not going to waste any more on doors and stuff, really. I mean, but we did get enough of it when we were down there, and I still have even more to turn into bars. All right, so let's see how this how this looks and how it works. And, you know, I'm not really partial to buttons, but I, I think it'll look good, so that's why we're going with it. And I am going to get, like I said, I am going to get rid of these iron doors and try to figure out something cooler. But just haven't figured it out yet. So, a little bit of time on that. Alright, so that that works pretty good. I mean, maybe I should add a button on the, oop, should add a button on the inside too. But, um, you know, not going to worry about that right now. Because if I'm going to go in there, I'm not going to just go right back out, you know what I mean. And anyways, when I come up here, this is an easy way to get back down anyway. I know that I took damage, but whatever. All right, last iron door. Set this up. All right, and put up that button. Okay, so guys, let's take a look at it. I don't think it looks too bad. I think it'll look better once we get rid of these iron doors because there's like too many doors in the front. Once I figure this out, I think it'll look a lot better. But this is kind of cool. It's a cool way to get up there. So it is. It's useful and it's kind of cool. But I think what we got to do, guys, is we got to start um, a little farm. So I'm thinking we're going to need um, a hoe. I don't think I have one of those. And I do have leftover sticks. I think I know how to make those. I think it's just this and an iron bar. No, that's a shovel. All right, we got an iron hoe. Good enough. And we have dirt and stuff. Take out some extra. And we have all the seeds and stuff like that. Let's see where exactly we should make it. That's what I am unsure about. So I mean we have this little spot over here but I don't want to I don't want to mess with it. I'm thinking we'll go to the third floor and we should make a spot for the garden. I know my ha my house is going to be so cluttered like at the end of this. I'm not sure where to build off um I'm thinking like I could just build it right out over the town. I think eventually I'm just going to get rid of this town if I make my house that big. I don't know what I'm going to do exactly but we're going to we're going to do it. All right, so we'll get rid of uh, we'll get rid of this one. What the hell am I doing? We'll get rid of this one, and we're gonna build it out further. And this is where we're gonna build the this is where we're gonna build the garden up here. Cause you know I don't want it to be um, on the ground. I think it's really easy to build stuff in your house. It just seems like it's it just makes things a lot easier. And I think it looks kind of cool as well. So I'm gonna make it like a greenhouse if I can figure out how to do that. But I don't think it'll be too difficult anyway. So we do need quite a bit of room for this. I'm thinking it's going to have to be quite far out. Alright guys, so I built this out and I actually ran out of cobblestone. So I'm going to probably get some of that off camera because, you know, it's really easy to just grab anyway. So what we're going to do is try to figure out a cool way to grow the food. And, you know, I can build it out more is the thing. So... It doesn't really matter too much. So I'm going to think I'm going to start. So it's going to be like a row of, I'm thinking a row of dirt, then um, water or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. And this will be in line because there's actually going to be, you know, a floor here eventually once I, fi once I uh, finish that off. And I don't know how much stuff I have, so we'll just see how this turns out. And obviously the water needs to stop, so it's going to have to be like this, I think.
So we'll put the water in there, and then we'll have the, you know, stuff grow here. I'm not sure. I mean, I only have four pumpkin seeds, so... And I'm pretty sure I could continue to grow right here. I'm going to need to get a little bit more dirt. And guys, let me know what you think of this. You know, I think it's going to work pretty good and look pretty good when it's done, but we'll see. And if you have any other ideas for it, then, you know, let me know. I mean, I read all the comments you guys leave, so... Alright, so, I think this is looking good. Obviously needs a lot of fix-ups around here, but I'm going to put the water in there. Do I have a bucket on me? No, I don't. But we could easily get some water, so that should be fine. I don't really think this is going to really take too long, actually. Alright, so let's grab a bucket. Maybe grab, let's grab two, because that's just going to speed up the process. So that way we won't have to go down and get more water. Then we'll just have enough right away. Pretty sure I just need to grab it from here. And this is really useful, having the swimming pool right in the house. Because I can just get water whenever I want. Alright, so... I believe that if I toss one there... And I toss one right there... That's all I gotta do. Alright, so... You know, I'm getting the hang of this. Alright, so that was pretty... That was fairly easy to set the water up here. So, this one's completely set up. So we'll start the other one now. Alright, then all we have to do is um, plant them. And I believe the pumpkins are going to need two spaces to grow. So I will I will leave extra space for those. Alright, so what I'm thinking is... I'm going to leave these right on the side like this. And then once these start going, we're going to you know harvest them and make the bookshelves. So probably for next episode we could actually do that. So I'm going to leave these on the sides. I'm thinking the pumpkins I'm going to want to grow in the middle. We'll see how much we have of everything. And I believe these have to be directly next to the water. So I'm thinking that um, the corner would be okay. But not sure. And I can't put one here. Maybe, can you, so you can't even place them there it seems like. Which is kind of interesting. So at least that makes it obvious for me. Alright, so kind of want to leave those that way. So... Let's try to make this look good. So we have 14 more. I'm going to make it even. I'm going to do the pumpkins like right in the middle. So I need four spots for the pumpkin. Actually, no. I'm going to need... What do I need? Eight squares for them? That's... I need to get rid of these. Alright, so we're going to put the pumpkins pumpkin seeds down there. And the best way to do this, I'm thinking, okay, so I need to hoe these. Alright, so if we do them all on one side like this. Alright, we're going to put them down like this, and that way they each will be able to grow over to there. And I think that'll look good. And clearly I need a tiny bit more room for, um, for these. I think for now, I'll just put them on the side like that. And then I just have, you know, I have two left over, but whatever. I mean, right now, I just need to get more materials and stuff anyway. So, guys, I think I fixed up the castle for, you know, I got the ladder set up. I did forget to set up torches, but I'll do that. And I got this, you know, little farm set up. I need to, you know, work on a little bit. I'm going to add some glass around it to make it like a greenhouse, but I need to expand it first, so I can't really do it right now because it still needs more work to expand the size of it. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, feel free to leave a comment. You know, like and subscribe. It does help. See you guys later.